Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be me and Zigzire versus x Bomb 25 in Maski 44. The map was Area of Scavengers, and before we start, please do give this video a like or a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel and Zigzire's channel. Link is in the description below the video. And of course, this battle, just to give you a heads up, this is a heart raising or pounding battle. You will not skip a beat, okay? Now with that aside, let's go jump straight into it. The red player and Zig will be the yellow player. Okay, we're gonna have to skip on to the juicy, but you know, to uh, on the to container collection part so that we can get into the juicy parts of this battle. Okay, there goes. Now, what I'm aiming for is uh, I would just like to, you know, like um, rely less on the chameleon. Okay, and I'll go HQ3 mammoth jaguars, porcupines, and grenadiers to, act, to attack the blue player. Now let's see how this plays out. Scout here with the blue player space. Okay, nothing crazy that can be seen so far. Okay, scout onto the green player space. Avia factory, so typical. Okay, normal build. And hammers are going to be added into the play. Okay, we see the green player producing some units right there, so it can only be a hammer. And then I saw that this blue player does have something sneaky up his you know, up his sleeve. The re vehicle factory said so this can only be hammer, hammer rush. Okay, now knowing that, I'll add grenadiers into the mix, as can be seen right there. Jaguars are now being produced along with some mammoths. Okay, and of course porcupines to act as an anti-air since the green player will have vertex. Now Sig will uh, actually play Avia. Okay. See hammer right here from the green player that was initially trying to get rid of the uh, coyote that was uh, sent here in a bunker. Rocket tower, of course, to prevent any rush from either me and Zig. Okay, vertex are like roaming around. Okay, I'm going to somehow spread out my army since, of course, there are vertex. Mm -hmm. So Sig uh, started very bad here with the lag. Okay, his infantry was somehow, you know, freezing due to the lag. He could not do anything else and only got two containers. So that's like a really bad premonition. Alright. Still, producing some units right there. Saw that that one vertex there. Okay, Cancel the green deer that is being produced by that on that one boost of barracks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not able to uh, successfully destroy that porcupine. Okay, that's typically bad vertex micro, hence that actually won me the exchange. Okay, gre green deers are uh, there from Sig. He's trying to move out with the hawk. Let's see how this plays out. Scout? Mm hmm. Level 3 vehicle factory for Zeus. Another attack here from the hawk. Okay, ah. Okay, so the vertex, that one vertex is going to obliterate two hawks in one run as it retreats. Now, Sig will be adding uh, Jaguars into the mix right there. Okay, I added two more or three more barracks so that I'll have more grindier production. We see some Zeus right there. Okay. Some hammers. So the green player will have Vertex, Typhoons, Hammers, and Zeus. Meanwhile, Sig, due to bad container collection, was actually late into setting up his base properly. And that's actually normal. It happens. And yeah, it's a bad day. Okay. Still, the blue player is non-stop amassing those hammers and we see that the hammers of the blue player along with the typhoons are moving over to the green player's base in order to attack Sig. That was a very helpful scout. Now as you guys can see I got like max command points already. He has 5 
a Hawks, and here goes the hammers from the green player. Okay, along with some zoos. Let's see how this plays out. Ah, oh, and by the way, the moment I saw those hammers from the green, I also started to move out my army in order to attack their blue player. Because I saw most of the units of the blue player are out of his base, leaving his base defenseless. Here goes the blue player's uh, hammers. Let's see how this plays out. The Hawks are like trying to, trying its best, uh, or the Hawks are like trying its best to somehow defend versus the many, you know, the units of both the green and the blue. But he is somehow just outnumbered. Meanwhile, I'm going to take position uh, position here to somehow siege up the blue player's base. This this ended up in a very early base raid. Oh man, this is super hard for Sig. So if Sig uh, will be destroyed here, I'm not going to blame him due to the lag. And uh, also, he was ganged up on by two players. Meanwhile, I'm going to obliterate the blue player's base, which is defenseless. And I'll take this opportunity to have defenses set up on the side, or the top left-hand side of my base. Building gun towers there. There it goes. So the blue player is like trying his best to take Sig with him as I destroy his base and the blue player will also try and destroy Sig's base. Okay, try Sig tried his best to somehow build away from his base onto my base but it's not gonna work out. Blue player's base is pretty much cleaned up at this point so I had some of my porcupines positioned uh, in advance so that to zone away the vertex and I'll also uh, have some of my grenadiers and mammoths go on or go back to my base in order to defend and I'll also uh, have some of my forces that destroy the blue player go on to the green player's base meanwhile I sent one porcupine to scout and saw that there will be a massive <laughs> defensive line there from the green player zoning me out entirely That's a huge army from both the green and the blue, hence I'll be building walls to somehow delay their advance. Okay, now I'm going to try and lay siege over here onto the green player's base while the army is not there. However, there are vertex, and amongst all this, I'm switching to tick. I'm switching, uh, or leveling up my HQ to HQ4. And I still have almost full command points at this point. Left one Jaguar into the blue player's base. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to try and attack with the mammoths there. Okay. Oh man, so I'm not going to be very successful with this uh, sieging up here because uh, there are like vertex into the mix. Meanwhile, the blue player's army is still intact and are going to ransack my army. However, I'm not going to allow that to happen. So I'm going to somehow save my porcupines in order for me to, of course, prolong the life of my jaguars due to those vertex. So I'm not going to allow that, I'm not going to give up just yet. I'm going to do my best to somehow position my army onto the blue player's base in order to prevent the blue player from coming back into the game. Using a gold scouting base to see further where those hammers are going. Trying to uh, siege up my Jaguar here in a very good position to get rid of those hammers.
very nice. Clean up the rest of the blue player's army. Now we see here hammers and Zeus from the green player. And I have a very good defensive line on my base with some of my forces that I had retreated. Okay, going into a good formation here to attack the green player. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, I'll have some of my forces from my base to somehow help me out with the uh, defense here onto the blue player's uh, location. I'm gonna have to retreat for a moment. Gray deers are like trying to help out along with the mammoths. Let's see how this plays out. Vertex are like trying to be annoying. Okay, we see the blue player is like trying to somehow rush into base. I mean, into building his base back up in uh, in operation, but I'm not going to allow that to happen. Hence, I'll have the green deers preoccupy the zoos while my jaguars and mammoths take care of the HQ that is being built. Nice. So the HQ of the blue player has now been uh, destroyed. I'm gonna have to retreat for a moment, have my uh, mammoths fire onto those chasing zoos. Micro control on that Jaguar keeping it alive. And then I'll have that Jaguar that is low on health deal the final blow onto that Zeus. Bam. <laughs> nice. Okay. Meanwhile, I transition tech to Abia because I can't I really can't do anything on the ground since of course the blue player uh, the green player will have doors if I went chameleon. So that's not a really good trade for me. So I'm gonna go Avia, level 5 HQ, added a third Avia vehicle, uh, a Avia factory. Okay, going over to 6 base. There it goes. And I'll have one of my Hawks count the green player to see what he has. Mm hmm, level 5 HQ too. Okay. That is why I skipped over to level 5 HQ myself. We see one cyclone there, I'll have the rest of my hawks get rid of that cyclone and a typhoon that is located in the middle of the map. There it goes. Okay, fast forward again. Building up some army that I lost. Now Sig is like trying to come back into the game as you guys can see we're talking about it. He has 800 resources and will try to come back slowly into the game. Now as you guys can see I'll have my Hawks help out Sig with the uh, defense as there's like one assault right there. Nice engagement with the Hawk right there versus those Vertex that are trying to get rid of the HQ. Barely kept it alive. Okay, and again, one hawk's used, or one hawk used to scout the base of the green. Still building a uh, very big camping base here. Okay, so I really can't do anything much about it. And the uh, green player does have a level 3 avia factory for Thors in case I have chameleons. Again, moving my hawks around here. Bam! Oh, did not quite kill it. 
there goes. Okay, and staying within the premises of 6th base in order to prevent any attack, but most of my hawks ran out of fuel. And here goes. Oh man, too bad I was not able to keep the HQ alive so that Sid can come back into the game. But we still have hope because there's still a supply center that is producing him resource income. Okay, I got like a healthy amount of hawks right there and building another airfield to house more hawks. And at this point, I got like full command points already. Now I'm going to prepare my base in order to house a nuclear with anti-air, as you guys can see. Okay, using one hawk to scout. Mm-hmm. Did not see anything uh, there to be seen. I'm expecting a space system from the green player. Okay, I'm going to scout again because maybe it's uh, located above the cliff. But there's none. Okay. And here goes. Now I got like a full command points here so if ever I will have a nuclear I will not be able to build a nuclear bomb or produce a nuclear bomb due to having a full command point. So I'm going to have to somehow reduce my command points by attacking the green uh, the green player reducing the vertex count because uh, I have mammoths there to somehow bait those vertex into attacking the mammoths. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, here goes. And then scout. Nothing really crazy here to see. There's no it's not real there's not really that much ground army from the green. But there's like a ton of avia. And if ever I'll have chameleons, he'll have doors. And let's see how this plays out. Okay. They're just deliberately destroying the mammoths, which is kind of normal. Okay, I'll have my hawks on patrol right there. Okay, and pretty much a space system is being built. And I got a ton of resources now as we are... We are, uh, as I'm sieging the base of the green player. Okay, getting rid of those vertex as I try to somehow build a nuclear launcher is a very good thing. Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of that space system. Let's see. Okay, there it goes. Attacking the airfield. And then I'm going to retreat where there are anti-air that I have stationed here. Switching to air raid boost. Okay. And I'm going to split my uh, hawks into two different uh, groups to somehow not take the full brunt of damage due to uh, clumped up being uh, grouped up. And I can somehow save my hawks. Okay, there it goes. One hawk scouted that the space system is being rebuilt. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, construct my nuclear launcher. There goes. I'm going to move into a position uh, onto the middle side of the map, but the pathfinding was yeah, super epic. Pathfinding. Okay, and again, I'll have my hawks attack the space system that is being built along with my ground army. Forgiveness. He has tons of defenses right there. Okay, now those vertex are going to attack my nuclear 
too. There it goes. I lost all my hawks, and not all vertex got destroyed. Okay, so I still have some of my uh, Gran army intact, and I'll have to reproduce the or rebuild the nuclear that I lost. So at this point in time, it's just the whack a mole phase. There it goes. I'm still not gonna give up. Yes, Sig, I can still win, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, there it goes. Getting rid of that uh, Zeus right there. Vertex are like trying to be annoying still. And I'll use this opportunity to buy some time for my nuclear to produce because I have my Jaguars in here. Ooh. Let's see now. Space system yet again. I'm going to use the Jaguar to destroy it. And for some reason, some odd reason, the Vertex did not destroy that one Jaguar. Wow. Okay, there it goes. Yes, he is good. Okay, Vertex trying to scout my nuclear right there. Got destroyed, but saw the nuclear. Okay, that Jaguar, man, is a hero. Okay, lost all my Hawks, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, here goes the Vertex. And attacking my nuclear, where there's just like, when there's just like 20 seconds into finishing the nuclear bomb. And then the vertex will now retreat. Okay. And again, I'm going to rebuild the nuclear. And my Jaguar was able to successfully destroy that space system. What a hero. Okay. Now, due to that matter, I thought that the green player, me and Sig, thought that the green player has another space system somewhere else. But no, he was, he just simply uh, forgot that there's like one Jaguar alive there, getting rid of this new uh, space system. Okay, that's one big of a blunder there from the green player. Okay, got like five Hawks in total. I'm going to scout. There, saw that there's like a vertex there. Okay, not all hawks fired. And saw again the nuclear that I have. Skip again. And I'll have my hawks patrol the vicinity of my base in advance so that to intercept the vertex as they try and attack my nuclear. And here goes the vertex again. Okay. Ignoring my hawks. And there it goes. But he lost all Vertex. And there was just like a very few seconds for me until I finished the nuclear. So that was a bit too bad right there. Meanwhile, he has another space system. And I got like six Hawks in total. And so again, man, this is a very hard battle of whack a mole though, whack the super weapon. As it stays right here, I'm at a very big disadvantage due to the Hawks' lack of firepower into destroying the nuclear. Or the space system, rather. Okay, green player scouted again the nuclear that I have. And I'm going to have to try and damage that space system. Because, of course, a player with a damaged space system will not dare produce a space, uh, a space strike with a damaged space system. And it will cost him a lot of resources to repair it. So I just delayed the uh, production of the uh, the space system by damaging the launcher itself. Okay, here it goes. Just a few seconds for me to finish the nuclear bomb. Scout right there. Okay, and here it goes. Again, my Vertec on my Hawks. Oh man, just six seconds before the nuclear is ready. Okay, and those Vertex went past my uh, hawk that are patrolling the uh, base, my, my base, <laughs> and went straight to the nuclear. Okay, and again, I'm just going to rebuild the nuclear yet again until I finish and successfully bomb this base since I really can't do anything about, about his base at the moment. Super weapon is the only way to have to deal damage. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to have to try and attack that space system again that is being produ producing a space strike. Let's see. Bam. And I'll pretty much lose all my hawks here if not only one survive or two. Ah, never mind. Only one hawk survived. <laughs> Okay, and again, nuclear being produced along with some hawks and porcupines. Now, I'll be building the, uh, or producing porcupines in order to attack his base. And again, this time the launcher finished producing. I was able to uh, successfully make the nuclear and I'm going to attack his base. Let's see how this plays out. Bam! Okay. That devastated the green player and destroyed most of the defensive buildings at the lower right hand corner of his base. Giving my porcupines the perfect opportunity to attack. And he doesn't have any ground units at all. Okay. There it goes. We're gonna have to try and see. And scout it. And the space system yet again survived that nuclear. Okay. And so, there goes, I'm gonna have to try and destroy that space system, but he destroyed my nuclear yet again. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and kill or destroy that space system. There it goes. And then retreat. Or I might as well do some damage here since so most of the buildings are boosted up. Getting rid of some anti here. Okay. Treat now. There it goes. And I'll be rebuilding my nuclear yet again. Now this time I'll have my porcupines move at the bottom side of the map in order to attack his base with no ground defenses. And again I'll use the hawk to scout. See what he has. Vertex scouted my nuclear yet again. Pretty much the vertex did not see the porcupines that I have moving at the bottom side of the map. Hmm. There it goes. And at this point, I'll use a vehicle scouting boost to increase the speed of my porcupines and onto air raid boost since those vertex are like going to destroy the uh, nuclear launcher that I have. Okay. Now once they go back onto my base, they'll be annihilated by my por by my porcupines that are lying in his base. There it goes. Okay, so he is uh, desperately building some defenses right there, along with some Zeus and a hammer. And I'll use this opportunity to attack the space system yet again with my porcupines. Okay, at first I was trying to target the uh, vehicle factory, but that vehicle factory is so tough. So, I'm gonna have to forget it. And just go straight for the space system. Now all of the vertex has been destroyed at this point, which is kind of a very good deal for me. And still, damage or destroy that space system. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, I was not able to destroy the space system but severely damaged it due to the rocket tower's uh, range was able to destroy my rock, my porcupines. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Not all my vertex fi uh, hawks fired due to the lag. Okay, so that was some serious miss micro on my end. I ended up losing all my hawks again. Okay, that's a very bad thing. <laughs> that was my fault due to the lag. The ping constantly changes. Okay, and I'm going to reproduce the uh, nuclear that I have here. And again, destroying my nuclear while my hawks are patrolling my base because the hawks can't chase the vertex. Okay, there it goes. But he still lost a huge chunk, a huge chunk of uh, vertex right there. Okay, I'm going to rebuild the nuclear yet again. 
Okay, but looking at his face, he added a special vehicle factory. Hmm, something special here. And I saw that the special vehicle factory, the vehicle factory are producing units. So he abandoned the super weapon uh, choice here. So he's going full ground now. And knowing that, I'll have Hawks to still somehow defend my base and of course a nuclear. And it will take a long time for the unit of the Confederation to travel onto my base giving me time or a huge amount of time to somehow tech switch again. Okay, there goes those Vertex destroying my nuclear. Okay. Huge, uh... Okay. He lost a huge chunk of Vertex yet again. And I'll be rebuilding the nuclear yet again. Okay, and this time, there is no space system confirming my instinct that he'll go full ground. So, yeah. I'm gonna produce some of my uh, ground units as well, Mammoths, Jaguars, and I upgraded my Special Vehicle Factory Level 3 to add Chameleons into the mix. I still have my three barracks right there. So I'm... I'm like thinking that he'll go Zeus in a shield with massive Typhoons. Okay, knowing that, I'll send one of my uh, some of my riflemen there in the middle of the map to see. And here goes a Hawk Scout, confirming my theory is correct. Okay, and so I will no longer be able to use my Hawks there, so this is only going to be for defensive purposes. I also have some of my units there to defend myself on the ground, and he doesn't have a lot of Zeus. Okay, ooh, and we see here 62%, so we're going to lose this battle if I don't attack on the ground. For some reason, I'm gonna be losing. So, <laughs> not going to allow that to happen. And my heart at this point is beating so fast because I don't want to lose this battle. Here goes the engagement. Okay. And... Bam! Nice hit. But there's like a ton of Typhoons there and there's like only 4 Zeus at the moment. Okay. I killed or destroyed all the Vertex that he has with that massive engagement there. Okay, and I'm no longer going to use my Hawks, I'm going to try and save it so that I can uh, deal some damage in case he might have a space system behind this uh, attack. Here goes. I'm going to defend my base with the Jaguar in a Mammoth. Okay, there's like two shield generators here, however, there's only two uh, four zoos that he has. Okay, destroyed all the Zeus. Now he has a ton of Typhoons, but of course, there's, it's defenseless. He doesn't have a lot of ground units to defend the Typhoons. Just four Zeus ain't enough. Okay. So, time for me to hammer down on those Typhoons that was sent to attack my base or defend the Zeus from the Hawks. I'll, 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 uh, I'll go ahead and intercept. and destroy as much as I can and gain more activity into this battle so I don't end up losing the game. Okay, here's a very good position where I can intercept most of the units. But of course, as I, have said, as I mentioned earlier guys, he will have Thors into the mix in case I'll have chameleons. Let's see. There goes the Thor. Okay, one Thor barely almost destroyed my entire army. Okay, have severely damaging most of my units. But there's only one Thor at the moment. So at this point in time, I'm going to try my best into somehow maneuvering my units, avoiding the Thor bombing runs. Buying some time for my nuclear as I'm producing it. And I still have plenty of Hawks there. I almost have full command points at this point. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to try and engage. Most of his units are composed of Typhoons. There's only like three Zeus there. Four Zeus. Scout right there. No space system. 
Okay, there's like five Zeus now and a shield generator. I'm going to have to try and retreat as the Thor will make a bombing run. Here it goes. Not the best uh, hits right there, but there's only one Thor. And here goes the nuclear, it's now ready. Time is ticking, I need more activity to win the battle. And there it goes. Bam. Okay. And he sincerely did not have enough Zeus to counter what I have here. I have more units firing at the Zeus than the Zeus itself. So I'm pretty much going to win that bout. Okay. So, again, trying to intercept with the Hawks. And I'll destroy the factories now to prevent more Zeus from being produced. There it goes. That's why I saved my Hawks earlier for this engagement. Damaging the Zeus right there. And still, 5 minutes left. 63-65. I need more activity. Otherwise, we'll lose this battle. Okay, and I said screw it. I'll destroy that airfield. Oh no! Okay, barely survived. Okay, I still have a bit of units right there. He no longer has anything on the ground to, to contest my army because I destroyed the factories. But I don't have a porcupine here. Okay, desperately building a uh, rocket tower. Destroying a shield would be nice. Okay, any damage that I can do here would be valuable for me to increase my activity. Okay, cyclones. Trying to be annoying. Rocket tower finished. Okay, there it goes. Destroying that airfield or avia factory is a nice pickup that will definitely reduce his avia production of Vertex and Thor. Okay, this is a very bad situation. There's only like 3 minutes left into the game, but I'm not going to give up. At this point, I'm just going to use the infantry and porcupines and another nuclear being produced yes heart pounding bro heart racing sick you got that right now i'm going to target the power plants right there along with some supply centers and a factory preventing torrents and of course to supply the power so he'll use emergency measures boost instead of resource boost there it goes nice now I'll have to use my Hawks yet again to destroy some of the power plants that are weakened. There it goes. Unpowering most of the defenses. So he'll have to reproduce the power plant first. Instead of using old defense boost. Or resource production. There it goes. Now he no longer has any power plant at this point. He is using emergency measure boost. And here goes my green deers and porcupines. So he will be forced to build the power plants in order to spam defensive buildings there on this location where I am attacking. But he'll have to use or provide <laughs> or build the supply center first in order to increase his income at this point. So I'm forcing the situation where we well he will have to build buildings that I'm expecting him to build. There it goes. I'll use this opportunity to attack. There's only less than two minutes left before the battle ends. Okay, I spread up my uh, Gradius right there. He still has a Thor. There it goes. Good bombing run, but I had my units spread out. Okay, destroying that HQ would be a massive pick off there. No more HQ for you, my friend. Okay, and still he's trying to win the battle, but I already have more activity. Wow, what a battle! Zigsire Imba. Okay, and at this point, I'll just add up attack everything here. I will no longer care about the units that I will lose. 
I'll just attack, attack, and attack to seal the deal into this battle. Okay, but respect to the green player. He did not give up throughout the entire battle. Respect plus for you, my friend. Yes, Zigzag or Imba. <laughs> well, he was unlucky because of the lag at the start. So you, you really can't blame him. It happens to everyone. Still, let's see how this plays out. There it goes. G. G. <laughs> Alright, bye now.